Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I will be taking a look at this cordless soldering iron from Parkside, which was a gift from my wife and she bought it at the local a little if I'm not mistaken and it was not very expensive but that was of course not the reason it was a gift but it was very nice and this can be very handy because it is a cordless solar solar iron which i can use uh, at my garage when uh, uh, doing stuff on my motorbike or the uh, led lights i have over there so this will come in handy uh, so i'm not going to destroy it i'm going to test it and to test it uh, properly I'm going to make it as real life as possible. This is the next kit I will be building for a next video. Uh, so this video will be a bit awkward, but I will be mounting some components on this circuit board in here with this soldering iron. And I will be also using my normal soldering iron so I can compare the solderings and see if it is any good. So let's see. This kit comes with some very thick solder and the heating element I guess, the solder tip, a solder soldering iron stand holder, a wall adapter for the 240 volt mains and the actual iron. Now it's not very heavy, it's not, not really light either but it is nice and let's see this tip over here it looks like the old style tungsten lamps which i used when i was young with the same fitting over there yeah <laughs> would be nice to see if this actually can hold a three or six volt lamp or 4.5 volts i used uh, in the old days with this thick large batteries so let's see this it's in the on setting right now it was already in on setting and when i touch this button at the bottom it will light up, so I guess this will get warm. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that does get warm. Very fast, actually. So that's nice. And this one goes in here. And when I, I believe when I push it in there firmly, yes, this is actually plugs in there, which can charge it when, I, of course, plugged it in so that's nice it has a battery inside what let's see what kind of battery is inside 3.6 volts would that mean it's a lithium ion yeah it is lithium ion battery 1.5 amp hours not bad not bad at all so let's see what it does now we're going to pause this video uh, not actually but i'm going to cut it in pieces because now i'm going to build this kit and use this iron and my own iron so there we go now do i when do i when do i know that this has the correct temperature will these leds go out will one of the two leds go out there's smoke coming from it so it is hot see if it already takes some solder it does do I need to tip uh, clean the tip first let's start it with some Dutch solder probably made in China too Take the one with a little less flux in it. Yeah, it is green, which should would suggest that it is that the temperature is ready or usable. So now there's actually solar sticking to it. Not happily, not yet, but. So that's better. It is not as nice pointy as my other, other one is, but it 
is better than nothing. So let's let's use it. Works fine. Works absolutely great. Now let's, let's see where I put my snips. Now, for reference, I'm going to put the other one in with the exact same solder with my normal iron. Works just as fine. So one more. Then I'm going to do the 10k resistor where did I put them? Over here. Ten K goes in here. Let's do the other one. Where's the last position? Over here. Now, there's a little bit of solder came through over there, not much, but that's the one I did with my normal iron. This one looks as good as the other one, so no complaints there. Now let's use this one again, does this get hot? Let's wait till the LEDs are green. It is actually a very nice device. It has temperature sensor in there, it has lights which work perfectly. It's pointing at, at the tip of the solar iron. And there it is. Just at the right temperature. There we are. So yeah, th this this works absolutely perfect. Uh, I like it so far. This this will come in handy. Let's see what it does when I put this charger in one of the outlets beneath my desk. Let's see if we can find a free one. There we go. Where do I put this in? Oh, over here. So yeah, the LEDs are red, indicating that it would that it is charging. And what does the manual say about that? That's too much text. But yeah, so it is charging right now, and the LEDs will probably get green when the battery is full. Can I turn it off? Doesn't matter, it's still charging. So yeah, I like this a lot, and uh, I'm going to walk to my wife and thank her again for this device, because it is great. Thanks for watching.